goes beyond the pain to love and to be with. Yes, only love can do that. Yeah. Son came home and said to his mother, Don't talk to me anymore. I hate you. When the mother prepared the food, You and your food, I don't want to eat your food. He ran away to the school. The mother did not know why. She started to pray to God. Lord, I have lost my husband. You left me with one child. And for this child I paid a heavy price. And today even this child tells me, the child is hating me. But I cannot hate Lord. The love goes beyond the hate. So that day she did not go for the duty, her work. She was working in the field, earning the money and taking care of the education of her son, the food of her son, the clothes of her son. She tried to give the best for him. Evening he came, still angry and worried. He did not eat the whole day. He was upset. The mother took the food. Though he is a grown-up boy, she started to feed him. And as she was feeding him, the tears were falling. He didn't want to open the eyes because he hated his mother. But he was hungry. So in his hunger, he did not know that he is eating the food. After some time only he realized it is not he. His hands, somebody else's hand is feeding him. And along the hands, as the hand was feeding, he saw the tears falling on his face. He opened his eyes. He said, why are you crying for me? The mother said, my son, you didn't eat. So I did not eat. I could not eat. I was waiting for you and I came to your school. Your principal told me that you have become very tired and you became sick. Don't you know that I have brought to you? He was like giddiness. He did not know. The mother brought him and mother washed his face, changed his clothes and fed him. Mother knows the son. Mother knows why, why the son is sick. And the son said, I hate you, mother. Why? Because you are looking so ugly. You are looking so ugly. And the mother said, Son, when you were just six months baby, I was working in the field. When you were four months old, only your father died. And all we had was only a small hut given by your father. And I went for the work. I was in the field plucking the weeds. Suddenly, somebody told me, your house is burning. So I came rushing. And I heard you crying inside. I did not know what to do. I rushed to pick you up. Then I saw smoke and the fire near me. So I removed my dress. My brain told me, if I remove my sari, I will become naked. Outside so many people are waiting. They did not allow me. But I said, even if I become naked, even anybody thinks of me, I don't care. I have to save you. I removed my sari. I covered you and I came back, rushing back. The fire hit my, burnt my face. That's why these wounds, that's why all these marks, my son. The child cried and hugged the mother. I'm sorry, my mother, but I want to know you want to know one thing. 
even when i hated you why did you come to the school to pick me up washed me and fed me she said you are my child your blood is my blood yes today man in the world he doesn't know the love they don't know the love they take love for granted they need love as long as they need it help they identify help and love they don't understand what is the price is paid because of love god is love and live in love that is the tribute you can give it to god god has loved you you begin to love one another care for one another respect to one another humble yourself to build up and raise up the another whereby god's love will live in you god's love is not given back by doing some pujas or by doing some devotional things bringing flowers to him or doing some fasting for him no he has loved us and live that love with whom god has designed us to live god never gave up adam and eve he loved them we know in luke's gospel chapter 7 when a lady called mary magdalene when he when she was living a prostitute life everybody hated her one day she came to know jesus and she came to the feet of jesus she started to weep and she said master everybody used to my body and they left me sick and lonely sinful and guilt i have come to you will you accept me and a man called simon who called jesus for food he said if jesus is a holy man how can he allow this sinful lady to touch him jesus spoke for her and said simon there were two people who received money from a master one fellow received 1 lakh another fellow received 10000 both could not pay back the master loved them and said okay you need not pay go happy who will love the master more simon said naturally the man who received 1 lakh and the master has forgiven him jesus said look you may be a righteous man you may need maybe little forgiveness but this woman is a worst sinner they may need more forgiveness but remember she has loved me more than you when i came home you did not give me water to wash my feet her love for me is so much she has washed with her tears nobody uses the hair for a lady hair is very special they adorn the hair with the flowers but for her i am more precious than her hair she took her hair and wiped the dust of my feet though her sins are many her love for her her love for me is so much so her sins are forgiven jesus spoke for her jesus made her a saint even the worst sinner when she, when he or she comes near jesus if they give themselves to jesus to the love of jesus if they understand the love of jesus and even they surrender themselves to jesus their life is transformed even in the dark dark moon mavasa when it comes into the bright light the darkness loses its power and effect 
even if your sins are like a dark moon come to the light the love of jesus he has created you because his love in knowing everything of you still he loves you it is said every newborn child comes with the good news that god still loves the world so remember the love of jesus return to him and tell him jesus i am not able to love my husband love my wife love my family people love one another because for me love for you is only a devotion make me life lord let me experience your love and live that love with one another only when i live that love with one another i become your witness your child because the persons with whom i have to live are created by you they are my brothers and sisters so help me to love one another we will pray <laughs>